Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be learning how to draw a cardinal that's very simplified, inspired by our, our artist, Charlie Harper. Um, so start by writing your name and class code at the bottom of your paper. And whatever class you're in. And then we're going to be drawing, I'm going to draw one on one side of the paper and one on the other, and then you can decide we're going to do it together so you can decide which one you want to keep for your painting okay and you'll be cutting it out so one way that you can make this and i think i'm going to switch to sharpie just well we'll try pencil um is if you want him to be looking straight at you and that one you're going to do kind of the shape and you want to start up high because you want to leave room for his tail feathers here okay so you're going to make the shape of a, of a raindrop okay which is just where you start, go down, curve around, and come back up so it comes to a point, okay? And then connected to that, you're going to do a very long, skinny triangle. So, or you could make it a rectangle, I suppose. So triangle would look like this. I would use tail feathers as a triangle. Or if you want to make it slightly rectangular, not rectangular, what would that be? That would be a, um, not a trapezoid quadrilateral it's got four four sides right okay so you could do that where it's not completely a triangle or you could make it a triangle either way will look fine and then for his wings if your bird is getting ready to fly or flying you would want to make them go up and I'm making this almost like it's a banana shape right <laughs> kind of like a banana there we go I'm gonna make two of those okay now, if he was sitting on a branch, let's say there is this, this branch that we've, we've painted on our other paper and I wanted to be sitting on that, I could put his wings down. So let me show you the alternative here. If I want him to be with wings down, I would just do this shape, okay? Be like he has them tucked in beside him, okay? For now, I'm going to do his wings down. Since I did that one down, I don't want one up and one down. There we go. There's his wings. He's got them tucked in beside him. All right, and then for his face, oh, I didn't realize there was sort of a glare on here. Let me see if I can move this to where there's no glare. Well, it's better. All right, for his beak, we're going to do, because he's looking straight at me, I'm going to actually do a diamond shape here. So I'm going to do, a tr like I'm doing a triangle going up and a triangle going down, and then a line across the middle, because this, this is his beak. And then... Uh, Cardinals have kind of a mask, so I'm going to draw a line that goes across right above his beak and then comes down like a U shape. That right there is going to have to get colored in black, so if you have a Sharpie, if you're doing this with a Sharpie or tracing yours with a Sharpie, you'll want to fill that in black. And then his eyes are black also. I'm going to put those right here at the corners. Okay, so this would be a cardinal that's looking straight at me. Okay, now if you want to make one, and obviously um, you could put, I should do this too, you could put like three little ovals here, one, two, three, and that would be where his little uh, claws are hanging onto your branch, okay? So ovals really close to each other, would you just be seeing like the knuckles of his hand? All right, now I'm going to flip it over. If you want to do one from a side angle, you're going to make kind of a raindrop, and I want you to start up here at the the top again but let's what you want to do is kind of come down like you're going to make a raindrop but then go straight back like this so it, because this is the back of his body it's a little bit straighter okay and then his tail would be oh and I actually probably shouldn't have done this because now I don't have much room for his beak I can probably just barely fit his beak you may want to start over this way just a slight bit um, and then I, I am going to just try to fit his beak in here I did it a little bit too close but it will fit Okay, and then I'm going to draw a line, and remember that mask, so you're going to do a line that comes over, and we're going to do, come down, and then, like, almost like it's half of a U, right, or a J, kind of looks like a J, right, and then put his eye in right at the corner, this is going to be black, that's that mask he has, and then for his wing, you're just going to do kind of a similar shape to the belly, and just going to repeat that curve. And the tail, similar to what we did on the front, you're going to go straight down. So this should be kind of a straight line right here. 
then down, and in, you can make it go at a, like this, like a triangle, or a little less of a triangle if you want to make it slightly less, make it a rectangle that kind of gets bigger at the bottom. I guess I can't think if that's a trapezoid or not. Then for his legs, now if he's standing on the branch, you could put a triangle here and have his legs coming out of that, right? With some feet, put another one there. You could do that, that would simplify his legs and feet. Totally up to you how you wanna do this. Now I do wish I had done this over here a little bit more. That would have given me more room for that beak. So hopefully when you do it, you won't do that, okay? Um, all right, have fun.